Uh, setting your business apart with great uh, and unique business ideas is imperative for success. On the GH Startups, we share with you the story of 25-year-old Sandra Amewala, who generated a business idea after partaking in her hometown festival, Gariza. As the CEO of the Gari Boutique, she's bent on making the staple food a global name through effective branding. Considered as one of the most important staple foods in Ghana, Gari is made from cassava, which has over the years served as a good companion to student and a master of food in homes. Demand for Gari has been greatly appreciable. You'll be marveled at how some people get their business ideas. And so we are here to meet 25-year-old Sandra Mewola, who just got a business idea after being part of a hometown's Gariza festival. So join me whilst I engage her. Hello, how are you? Hello. Good to see you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Grateful. 25 year old Sandra Mawula, who hails from Ehi in the Volta region, nurtured the business idea after participating in a hometown's festival. Gariza meaning Gary Festival. The reason why it's not something they really talk about is because they do not have market for it. So they go to the farm, do the Gary and everything, but they do not really have people coming all the way to buy it over there. So I said, okay, well, I slept over it and as somebody would say, divine download. <laughs> God gave me an idea as to how to take this to the next level. Her quest to empower indigents in her hometown and add value to the staple food gave birth to the Gary Boutique. You realize that a lot of people eat Gary every day, everywhere, in every home. Even for what we call rich, some of them even feed it to their um, pets at home. So Gary is eaten by almost everybody. And I felt that, okay, well, I can create employment for the people from my hometown. I can put the name of my hometown on the map of Ghana and then we can take it to the next level. Gary should become one of the export commodities of Ghana. For the business administration graduate, access to Gary was easy, but branding was what took much of her income when she was setting up. Branding, we, as we all know in Ghana, takes a lot of capital. But I can give an estimate between about 4,000 cities to 6,000 cities, if I am not overestimating. That goes into branding. People um, undermine the, if, the impact of branding, but it goes a long way in selling your product for you. And we call ourselves the Gary Boutique because now it is packaged and branded in a way that appeals to even people we call the rich in society. And I think one reason why it was looked down upon was because, or why people thought it was for the poor, because of how cheap it is and how easy it is to assess. But then again, every rich person has started from somewhere before and they've also eaten Gary before or one way or the other come into contact with Gary before. So why not make it appealing in a more presentable way and attract the people who are now called the rich people. But how easy or difficult is it starting up a business in Ghana? It depends on where you are coming from, okay, and the amount of knowledge you have about the product you want to sell or whatever business you want to start. The saying goes that knowledge is power. If you know where to start from, if you know what to do and what not to do, I wouldn't say it's easy. It's not a bed of roses either, but then it's you just need knowledge on what you want to do. The Gary Boutique sells packaged Gary Soakings, which comes with sugar, powdered milk, granite, spoon, cup, ready to mix. Flavored Gary mixed with ginger, coconut, potato, onions are also on sale. The advantage with this one is it's not pre-mixed. You have a cup and a spoon in there where you have to mix your own quantities like you desire. So this pack goes for five cities. So we have the one kg for the flavored Gary going for 10 cities. We have the two kg that goes for 18 cities and then the three kg goes for 25. That's for the flavored Gary. 
some people are not so open to the idea of flavored gari so we still sell the regular gari too for that one the one kg goes for five cities and then we have two kg for 10 cities and three kg for 15 cities admitting there are good and bad days sandra confirms having adequate knowledge in what you deal in will propel your business basically my friends um, my family the people i know from social media the patronage has been good so far um, there are good days and there are bad days for every business but then for for us because you don't have to now go and sample for somebody to now taste to know what it is everybody knows what gary is so you do not have to convince anybody to buy yes yeah, so so far the patronage has been good i'd say for her part ghana has lots of resources she can boast of globally something she has passed to do with the gary boutique this is what she has for the youth. Well, yes, they may say they are waiting on government, but then in the meantime, government is not feeding you. So what would you rather do? You would still be going to church and praying to God for a miracle. Why not work with your hands? No matter how small it is, um, little drops of water definitely make a mighty ocean. So it's time for me to have a feel of this meal. It's an old age meal and uh, with just a chilled bottle of water, I'm good to go. So join me as I unwrap the meal. I like the mixture. Uh, mm. This is so nice. So if you ever thought Gary was food for the poor, I think you should revise your note. And I'm really enjoying this meal Gary would take. And so from Red Coat Flat here at Medina, George Queen, Tibetan. Now I think I want to have Gary for breakfast. Whoever said Gary would be big business um, in 2019? Well, ladies and gentlemen, there, there are um, business opportunities everywhere and it is up to you to find um, your business opportunity wherever you find yourself. Um, it has been, it's his new day, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, let creativity lead you.